thing. <laughs> Welcome to Backyard Blinking. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BBM pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. <clears throat> Today, we got one from Beeman. It's a uh, single fire, pellet only. It's not a brake barrel. It's not a it's kind of different. It is the P17. Unless you're in Canada. It's like 15 and 7 eighths or something. So any I am just kidding. Don't don't start with I know the metric system, so that'd be point five. Never mind. Dug my own hole. Anyway, this thing is, uh, it's actually not too awful bad. It, there's an issue that I have with it, kind of get into a little bit, but it does have a uh, metal trigger that's in here, fiber optic front sight, fully adjustable fiber optic rear sight. It does have a, a rail system on here where you could actually mount an optic but it'd be hard to do. Safety is here. Fire safe. And when you get ready to load it to, to cock it or whatever, it will actually reset the safety. So you don't have to worry about, you know, forgetting to put it on put it on safe before you uh load it now it does have a hammer which is not a hammer so loading this thing for me is a little awkward because my big you know fumble finger hands but uh, I have my handy dandy pellet loading patent pending apparatus here so what you do is you Pull a hammer down, the top comes open. Now, this is actually going to be a good time, too, for you know, some of you guys that know if we talk about a springer or if we talk about a nitro piston or a gas piston or something like that, if you know what that is, that's fine. Some of you guys that don't, this is going to be a, uh, a good experience for you. When you talk about a springer, you're talking about a, a spark spring that's inside of a cylinder. So once you make a motion, it compresses the spring, it holds the energy, releases it. Same thing with a gas piston. Uh, you have a cylinder, uh, another cylinder, you pull that one out, and then when you recock it, you pressurize it. That's what this one is. So, see the main cylinder, entry cylinder, and there's the arm. Now this is, uh, there's no spring in here, it's, it's all air pressure, gas pressure. Here's the thing, inside here, right up in there, that's where the barrel is. So that's where you had to put the pellet. Hence these. Which is still a challenge. Most of the time. So once you get the pellet loaded into the barrel, make sure it comes all the way forward. And then you start to return. Here's the tricky part. We were talking about an optic. You have to have something to grab a hold of. This thing has a lot of pressure on it. To get it back together. Now, it advertises 410 feet per second. It doesn't sound like a whole lot. I mean, it's 
comparable with a lot of the CO2 and some of the other stuff as far as feet per second. It's a trick to get it closed. I mean, it's a, a younger individual is going to have a tough time with it unless they, you know, force it down on the table. Anyway, let me uh, we'll take another shot here real quick and then I'll show you the real issue I have with it. Uh, any volunteers? A, uh, a spoon. Yep. And that's what I thought would happen. No, I missed it. Here's the issue I have with this thing. Remember when I was pressing my way down? The rear sights that are in here. Let me show you something. There's a nut that's under here that goes to this flathead screw, which gives you the elevation up and down. So you can actually push on this thing and it goes in and out. Every time that you touch it and you bump it, at least with this one, now it might not be with all of them, don't get me wrong, it, it moves. Also, left and right adjustment right here with this screw whole sight moves so every time that you load it there's a chance that you could knock the rear sights off I do it all the time and then I'll have to go back through and say well maybe I need to now granted it would be easy enough, and I haven't done it with this one, and I probably will. <clears throat> I, the reason I didn't do it with this was because I wanted to show you. This This is something that you have to look out for. It's still easy enough to go through and use, like, some Loctite, a little piece of, a little spot of super glue or something like that. Once you get it, the rear sights where you want it, either left and right, and or up and down to put that on there. That way it can't move anymore. You've negated the problem. There is nothing. The pistol is great. The trigger is great. The safety works. I, everything is is what it is. I'm you know I'm all good with that. It just I had that issue with that rear sight. That's something that if you get a hold of one of these things, you might want to look out for. But there's an easy way to fix it. Okay, so don't, you know, don't watch this and go, oh, God, that's crap. No, dude, that's not true. That's not true at all. It just, there's a couple of issues in there. I mean, the way the thing is constructed, I mean, you know, you're kind of limited about what you can do and how you can do it. You have to do what you have to do. <clears throat> but, well, spot a super glue or, you know, maybe some Loctite on the threads and the same thing up here and the problem solved I just haven't done it yet because that'd be unfair to you guys so gee I saw a video and his worked fine and that's because the hazy didn't tell you that he super glued the thing in place <clears throat> now I've been all over this rear sight so who knows what's going to happen? Of course, then again, we might get lucky. Let's find out. Tell you what. Just to up my odds, just shatter blast down there with a spoon right behind it. Right hand side. Let's try it.
it's a shatter blast and the spoon. But all in all, I mean, you know, you're talking about something that's under, you know, under 40 bucks. Now, you're not going to really find these laying around on the shelf. This is something that you had to go get, but they're well worth it. I mean, yes, it's a single fire. Um, it's a little hard to get the pellets in there if you got, you know, big old clod hopper hands and the little thing with the rear sight, but that is easily fixed. Getting the pellets in there, I mean, that's not that big a deal. But the thing shoots great. It's got a great trigger on it. It's light, but it's, you know, it's, it, it, it's heavy enough that, you know, it, it shoots really good. I mean, it really does. Once you get it sighted in, there's nothing to it. And it looks cool. Anyway, just figured I'd share this thing with you because I've uh, been around here for a little while and didn't really mess with it too much. But uh, Beeman P17. Very cool. Until next time, my name is Charles. I've been backyard plinking. Thank <laughs> you.